Hi Lily. Hi, there you are? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. What's happening there? Uh, I'm having a sleepover. Oh, you're having a sleepover? Yeah, I'm having a sleepover. Yeah, I'm having a sleepover. I'm happy the sun's shining. I know. How nice is it? It's beautiful out there. Really nice. Really nice. It's like a difference, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. At least you can get outside. Yeah. Know. Yeah, we're going to go out a bit later. Um, oh, nice. I kind of like it when the sun's just going down, you know, like it's not too bright, yeah. bright, bright. Yeah, so yeah, that's good. But I, I'm trying not to go on about Corona anymore. So I'm a bit sick of it. I know, I know. <laughs> it's sunk it's in now. It Pardon? It is what it is. Indeed, exactly, exactly. What can you do? That's it. But I thought with I the de- with the debate today, yeah. I, d- I was trying to like it's all well and good being light hearted, but some you know some topics need to be spoken about. Yeah. Is it okay for parents? to post um, innocent, semi-nude or nude shots of their child online. Now, it's one of my biggest pet hates. Um, I was sexually abused when I was a child, actually, but I think I'm extra sensitive to it. Now, I just feel really uncomfortable with it. What, what's, your, what's your view on it? I mean, for me, I, you know, I don't judge anyone. If they want to do that, that's up to you. Um, if you've got a private profile, that's fine. If you're happy and you trust the people on your friends list to see your child. Mm. For me, I would never do that. No. We noticed because it's not, he's not old enough to say, me, Mum, I'm okay with being online. But do you know what I mean? Like, I know it sounds really silly, but it's him. He's his own person. Like, I even sometimes feel bad, like, I not feel bad. I want to show him off. But, like... He's not giving me consent. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I just feel like it's a little bit um, yeah. beyond their control. And I just think nude photos or videos or whatever, it's so personal. That's your child. like. Yeah. But I get the whole thing with, like, it is innocent and it's other people that see it wrongly. And there's a lot of situations like this. It's like children, you know, like young girls mm. who want to wear, you know, a crop top or, you know, hot pants that go up there, but, you know, with their little butt cheeks showing. Oh, it's awful, yeah. It's like, but, but for them, they're just wearing little denim hot pants. They see nothing wrong in it. But mm. the problem is, it's other people. Yeah. And that shouldn't stop a child, uh, uh, sorry, a person wearing what they want to wear. But as a child, it's up to us as parents to protect them. Because, for instance, if a nine-year-old little girl is walking down the street in hot pants, crop tops, whatever, and an older boy... You know, even a 16-year-old, 15, 16-year-old, thinks she's a bit older or acts on it mm. and gives her bum a slap or goes to squeeze her bum. What's that nine-year-old girl going to feel? What She's not going to be able to say to him, you know, piss off, get off of me, mm. which is what a 16-year-old girl would probably do. She's yeah, me. totally. I mean, even even things like um, I went to a, like a little um, water park um, near my parents last summer. And really innocent, you've got kids there splashing around in their little, you know, their little swimming costumes and trunks. And you know what it's like when you've got a child, you've kind of got them get get them out of their wet bits, put some dry bits on. And, um, you know, I just couldn't do that in the open. I was really shielding, like, my son, putting a towel. My, and some people think, you know, it's just innocent. It's, but it's like an open-air park. And there are so many um, predators out there. And, you know, I did start the conversation. I won't go too deep into my situation, but I am extra sensitive to it because, you know... Yeah, I am. And, you know, so a friend of mine, I won't mention any names, um, she was really sort of... Um, I'll just throw wrong, wrong words as exposing, but getting her child changed in a really open um, public place. And she, I just said, aren't you worried about, like weirdos i say men because it is pre- predominantly men that you know that do that sort of thing um and she was like well it's up to them if they want to do it you know if that's how they think then i, I can't do anything about can't control their their thoughts but the thought of someone purring over my child just makes me feel physically sick um and i, I just feel really uncomfortable i was on my social media um once quite a while ago now and a friend that was on that page she's not friends with me anymore put this picture of her daughter up with a she had like a dress on and she was you know what kids are like with their legs she was like throwing her legs around she had no underwear on now it's a public it's a public it's not even a private that's one thing but it was a public open account 
And even though it was, you know, the cute little girl, she's so innocent, really innocent. You know, it's just art. I just, I was so uncomfortable with it. Oh, you're not? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. But, and also, I, you know, if you, you sort of keep a bit of an eye out, like, if you know, I, I don't let him out of my sight. I'm quite, I, I try to let him have as much freedom as, as he can, but mm. he, I'm not laid back in the sense that I won't just let him run. But, I mean, I know that he's nearly two, but, like, you know, some of my friends, even in the park, the kid will be over the other side of the little, you know, play part and whatever, but I'm... I'm sort of not really like that. I'm not relaxed in that sense. Mm. So I don't know if I, if I was in a situation where maybe we were getting changed at like a public pool or somewhere. I don't know that I would be... But doesn't it feel like, make you feel uncomfortable to think that there are weirdos that frequent those places where they know children are going to be just to have a perv? But I, I just, I, you just think you're there to protect them. You can't, you can't live worrying like that because you yeah. never let them do anything, would you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know what you're but saying. I get where you're coming from because you've had, you know... You've different, different experience. Mm. Different experiences to me, but... I just, I, I personally, the online thing is a definite, definite, hundred percent no for mm. me. Right. Um, yeah. But I don't know how. I, but he's only I mean, like I said, he's nearly two, so it's different for me. I haven't really crossed that bridge yet. I don't know. But if I saw somebody with a child and they were just like, you know, getting them changed, I wouldn't really think twice. I don't think. Yeah, I mean that's one thing. I mean the debate was was about the. Uh, I've sort of gone off um off the trail as usual. <laughs> Yeah. There's so many um, things like, that relate to it, that's the thing. That's it, exactly. Yeah, but for me, it's not their choice, is it, to be online anyway, so I think... I mean, I'm I'm very open with Quincy being online. You're very different to me, and that's every you know. I've got I know other parents that are like that, but they wouldn't have their child on social media at all to to open to the public. Um, but um, you know, I'm cool with that. But it's just you know having him on there semi even semi nude or nude i just think as innocent as it is um i just think it's wrong how dark like and that sounds so sinister but like the internet is such a dark place you don't know who's behind that screen people can save your images people can re-watch your images like those downloads exactly once it's on the internet that's it Whereas at least if you're just your kids getting changed in the park, like you get them dressed, you go, and you're out of that situation, and anyone that was looking in it inappropriately is a freak. Yeah. Um, but you're probably never going to see them again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that, that's true. It's true, yeah. But the online thing is a no. Yeah. So we're in agreement on that one. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Let me, I'm going to just check this poll just quickly. Oh, yeah. What did the people say? Let me have a look. Hold on. I don't want to lose you. Uh, are you still there? Yeah. She's still there. Yeah, I'm still here. You're still here. Hold on a second. Holding on in there. I was quite surprised, actually. All right, one sec. Uh, I'm going to go on uh, about this topic as well. I know. Oh, sugar. Hold on. I could literally spend... Oh. Right, I'm nearly there, guys. Sorry. Hold on. That's all right. Oh. Do you need to check? No, uh, yeah, you can. Oh, here we are. I've got it. Right. So, is it acceptable for parents to put innocent nude, semi nude snaps of the nude or semi nude snaps of their child on their social media? Yes, said, yes, said 67%, and no, said 33%. So, 67% said it's they're cool with it. I'm surprised at that. You know what? It's like I said, if you trust the people on your, yeah, I, don't know, I, I personally wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 sorry, not that. I trust, <laughs> no, not that I don't trust my friends on there. I just, it, it's not so much that. It's more that I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't. Don't think it. I just wouldn't do that. No. Yeah. 